We've been using these short videos to communicate with residents for about a year now. And we're going to start a mini educational series about things that people should know, especially living in rain dance in Water Valley. Our first topic is going to be, what's a metro district? If you're from out of state, you've never heard of a metro district because Colorado is the only state that has them. Um, and then the next, the next part of that is how much do metro districts cost to operate? Metro districts are independent government entities and their purpose is to plan, construct, and manage these new large developments that are very popular in Colorado. There are big advantages that metro districts have that HOAs don't have. First is property tax. So a great example is the Rain Dance River Resort. It's a nine or $10 million facility. If it was a HOA, the HOA would have to pay property tax. Another advantage is purchasing power. Government agencies get together and bid out supplies. And there's a tremendous savings, not only in the cost of the supply, but also the fact that government entities are exempt from sales tax. So the product's cheaper and there's no sales tax. That's a tremendous savings for a facility that needs lots of chlorine or a park system that needs fertilizer. Our metro districts also save on raw water. So if you think of all of the park space and all of the blue grass and all of the trees and drip irrigation and the farm field irrigation, um, we're a pretty big water user, but the district has their own water rights and their own distribution system. So when you add up the cost of property taxes, raw water, um, purchasing supplies, the Metro District can operate these businesses uh, or these entities for a lot lower cost than what an HOA could do. And that saves all of the residents a lot of money. Martin Lynn, the president of the Water Valley Land Company, is gonna get down to the specifics of what it costs in the metro districts. Hey, good afternoon, Water Valley and Rain Dance residents. There's been a lot of talk about, hey, what does it cost me to live in Water Valley or what does it cost me in, to live in Rain Dance when it comes to what the HOA fees are, the metro district fees are, and the raw water fees? Well, we have spread this out and I wanna give you a really quick tutorial on what's going on. We picked five random homes in Water Valley and five in Rain Dance. We've taken the assessed valuation, we've taken the actuals, we've averaged them all out and in Rain Dance, including your Metro District fees, including your HOA fees, in Rain Dance that includes your trash and your raw water fees on an annualized basis, it costs you $171.68 to live in Rain Dance. That's all open space catered, manicured, all the trails. The Lazy River Capital is included in that. Right now, the membership is included in that because we as the developer are paying for that. You do know that that's gonna be a fee someday, but right now, it costs you $171 a month to live in Rain Dance. In Water Valley, we took the five cross sections, average them out, including the district. Water Valley doesn't include trash, costs you $161.78 a month. You have these beautiful communities, they're costing you about $170 a month to live there, and it is completely unfathomable that you could live anywhere else and have those amenities for such a low price. The raw water alone is such a tremendous savings to our residents. Ask your friends this summer what it costs them to irrigate their lawn if they don't live in a raw water system like we've developed in Water Valley and Rain Dance. I'd be willing to bet many of their bills will be $300 a month. We enjoy the fact that you guys have embraced what we've built here in Rain Dance and Water Valley, and we wanted to set the record straight on what it costs to live here. Have a great summer.